But let's now turn to the resident electoral commissioner. We believe he, uh, the resident electoral commissioner in Adamo Estate, uh, for some insights on the preparedness of the supplementary elections taking place across 44 polling units. Mr. Kasim Gaydan, we have him via telephone. I would like to thank you for joining us at this time and ask, uh, we hear, of course, the elections ongoing in Adamo Estate. Uh, I'm sure you heard from our correspondent as well, the latest. Uh, what can you tell us about the preparedness across the polling units today? Uh, well, everything is going much smoothly uh, highlighted by those you have interviewed. And, uh, so far, so good. It's a peaceful election. And, uh, going on very orderly with adequate security in place. All stakeholders are playing a very good role. And uh, we are happy about it. An observation was made by a correspondent saying they didn't see uh, APC, the All Progressive Congress Party agents. Is this uh, something you're aware of as well? Well, uh, I am really not aware that they are not. Uh, they don't have agents in the field. But uh, we have 29 candidates, and uh, the normal average agent turnout at the polling units and uh, is about seven to eight. You know, in most cases, you will have. Uh, even when we had presidential election, we had 73 candidates, and we only have less than 10 agents at the collection center. So it's really not surprising that uh, maybe they may be somewhere in other polling units. Maybe not all polling units. I, I, I'm, not, I'm really not aware that uh, they are not really appearing in all the polling stations. Yes, because you know, some parties may some parties may present their agents in this local government. Others will appear in another local government. And also, they are also uh, we are talking of for two polling units. So maybe you know those agents didn't appear, but I don't have any formal notice to the effect that uh, they are not participating. Uh, they sent me a letter yesterday and complained about the notice, and I replied them and I advised them that uh, actually it was a continuation of process that was started. Uh, long before now, and uh, the election could have really taken place okay. on 23rd of March of uh, this year, but for the court order. So when the order was vacated and uh, the opportunity was given to us, we just continued our trip. We don't have to really go back and start from the beginning all over again. O'clock, I hear, is the date for um, accreditation and voting. Could that time perhaps extend for others in other places in Adamawa today? No. Tam, uh, I want to assure you that uh, all the polling units took off on time, 8 o'clock, uh, all over the state, all over the 14 local government areas. So we don't have any justification for really extending the election time to over and above 2 o'clock, 2 p.m. today. So as soon as 2, uh, 2, 2 p.m. clocks, we will start a coalition at the PU level. Then we proceed to the local uh, ward coalition center, we call a registration area. Then to the local government area, which is normal process of coalition will also take place there. And then they will come to the state coalition center where the returning officer is waiting for them. And all the officers, are, all these adult staff are on ground as I speak now. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Kasim Gaydam, uh, the rare yeah. president electoral commissioner for Adamo State, for joining us via telephone there. Well, some uh, policy molders within the All Progressives Congress, APC, they've been speaking about the parties uh, and, of course, uh, Buhari's government's next level agenda. Uh, speakers like the Minister of Trade and Investment. Uh, emphasizing the efforts of government to ensure investment drive and better economy. Uh, this is happening at the uh, 11th edition of the Bola Tinubu Colloquium, which is taking place in Abuja, the nation's capital. All those are pictures coming in from the event uh, in honor of the APC leader, Bola Tinubu. Let's take you live to some live feeds of that uh, event taking place there in Abuja. We, within one year of operations, we achieved a five-year plan. We have made Nigeria an outsourcing destination. And at First Global, we have four main core values. To have integrity at all times, to insist on the highest standards, to make an impact, and to constantly be in